So when you want to stack the graph of this, first find your vertical asymptote. How to find vertical asymptote? Vertical asymptote, we will find function undefined. Function undefined at denominator equals to 0. So x equals to 2. So vertical asymptote, you're going to find x approaches 2 from the left hand side and limit x approaches 2 from the right hand side for the function 1 over x minus 2. So how to calculate this limit? We'll try to substitute 1 over 0. So 1 over 0 we get infinity. Then we test calculator. So 2 coming from left hand side. The value we will test here will be 1 point. 1.9. So when you put 1.9 in this 1.9 minus 2, it will be nearly negatively, negatively 0.1. So your 0 will be negatively. So positive over negative, we will get negative infinity. We repeat for the right hand side, when x approaches 2 from the right hand side, we substitute value. We can calculate 1 over 0 is equal to infinity. Then from the right hand side. So we will choose 2.1. When 2.1 substitute x minus 2, x minus 2, we get 0 0.1. So this 0 is approximately positively. So positive over positive, we get positive <coughs> infinity. From here, we conclude that x equals to 2 is vertical asymptote. So after we finding vertical asymptote, we proceed to horizontal asymptote. So for horizontal asymptote, we're going to calculate limit approaches negative infinity for the function and limit approaches positive infinity for the function. So try to substitute infinity. When we substitute infinity, infinity minus 2, infinity. 1 over infinity, 0. So, for x approaches positive infinity, when we substitute infinity minus 2, we still get infinity. So, 1 over 0, 1 over infinity, 0. Our answer, y equals to 0, is horizontal asymptote. Then we go in to start sketch the graph. Sketch our asymptote first. S-axis, label, y-axis, label, origin, label. Draw the first vertical asymptote. It is 4 on the line x equals to 2. So x equals to 2. And label. Another Asymptote, which is horizontal asymptote, y equals to 0. So y equals to 0 is equal to the hour S and C. So we label here. So how to draw the graph? So read the result here. Read the result here. When your x approaches 2 from the left hand side. So x come near to 2 from the left hand side. So this area, your graph, your function is equals to negative infinity. So when you're going negative infinity means your graph is going downward here. When x, I repeat, when x approaches 2 from the left hand side, bila graph datang daripada dua belah kiri, function kamu akan turun jadi negative infinity. So dia punya echo kat bawah. Okay, so another result here, when x approaches 2, from the right hand side. We learn function that time will last like work from the left. right hand side of the two. Your function is going positive infinity. So, much in echo asymptote, the curve here will be at positive side. Positive infinity means going up. Okay, your curve going up. So, this one your curve is going down. And then you look at this. When your x approaches negative infinity, much in x, please marking kiri. Negative infinity x, x marking kiri. Your graph is go near to the zero. 
So when I want to go near to the zero, you can see one side of the curve already at here. So when we go x approaches negative infinity, the graph go near to the zero asymptote here. Go near. Mahapiri. So asymptote. Pergi seiring dengan dia. Your graph go parallel with it. Go near to it but not intersect with it. <coughs> so we read this one. When x approaches positive infinity. When x want to go positive infinity means this side. So your graph is going near to zero. You can see one side already here. One part of the curve is here. So you want to go positive infinity, we're going near to the zero. So we can extend, I extend this S as is. So I extend S as is so that you can have clearly graphs you can see here. So X approaches positive infinity, the graph nearly zero, Y equals to zero, so X. So lastly, you have to label all your all your graph here. This is our function equals to 1 over x minus 2. One more. Lastly, make sure your intercept also label. Alright, so x axis label, y axis label, asymptote label, intercept also label. We have a y intercept here. We calculate for y intercept, x will be equal to 0. So what's your coordinate y? Okay, y equals to 1 over x minus 2. When x 0, so negative 1 over 2. Intercept is negative 1 over 2. Make sure your labeling complete. Intercept, other intercept, if you've got intercept, you have to calculate. If your graph don't have intercept, no need. 